have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Michael Wald, who has been nicknamed the Blood Detective, for his keen ability to zero in on health problems and find natural solutions. And Dr. Wald also holds several degrees and certifications, including board certifications in nutrition. Right. And Dr. Wald, we have some questions that people have sent us through one via email yeah. on today's topic of vitamins and other supplements. Okay. Do they help? Oh, that's a okay. question. Now, any many emails as well as a lot of our new patients mm -hmm. often ask us if taking the herbs, vitamins, and nutritional supplements are helpful, uh, or are they a waste of time? Many of them even say, "My doctor says mm -hmm. that taking these supplements are a waste of time and can be harmful to me." What's the truth? Okay, so let me start by mentioning that just this Sunday's New York Times opinion section had an article which uh, was based on an interview with an infectious disease doctor who basically said don't take your vitamins and uh, during this interview the doctor was explaining that um, vitamins might might uh, hasten the death of cancer patients and that certain nutrients like beta carotene might cause lung cancer etc etc and it certainly did not sound good by the way, for a rebuttal on each of those points, uh, if you were to go to my website at uh, www.intmedny.com, I counter these points because this infectious disease doctor is just absolutely wrong. It's so wrong, I I'm, in I'm embarrassed for him and other uh, medical professionals that have these opinions and hold them so strongly that they put them in the public arena like this. I'm, I'm Cassie, I'm baffled by it because the medical literature, the research search engines like the Cochrane database and the National Library of Medicine, where uh, there are millions of, of journal articles, clearly show that there is more than a small amount of evidence to suggest that the use of nutritional supplements, we're talking other than foods, are important. Now, just a few weeks prior to this article this weekend, the New York Times had another uh, article in the, in the science section which explained that we farmed out a lot of the nutrition in our foods and that the wild varieties of, let's say, blueberries or the farmed counterparts have from a dozen times to thousands of times higher levels of, of nutrition. So common sense should tell us if the nutrition is being sucked out of the foods, we, we are forced to, to take or consider nutritional supplements. One other very important point. For years and years and years, the American Medical Association, the AMA, was vehemently against nutritional supplements. So much so, they, they declared a memorandum against alternative practitioners and uh, nutritionists that were other than dietitians to stop the dissemination of this information because they declared that nutrients in the form of vitamins, minerals, and herbs as pills and non-foods were not only a waste of time, but could cause harm. Then all of a sudden, a decade or so after, maybe a little bit longer, I'm not exactly sure, after that initial statement by the AMA, they reversed their opinion entirely. There was a landmark article of which we cite on our website that basically said every adult should take at least one multivitamin every day and they will reduce their risk of cancer, heart disease, and other diseases. And the article, because it did appear in a peer-reviewed medical journal, was fully medically referenced, which to me is very odd because all of a sudden all the evidence that's been around, which the AMA said was not around, was suddenly referenced in this article. And this isn't the only one. It was just one that ended up in uh, a predominant medical journal that really got noticed by the media, and sometimes that's really what it takes. So then that brings us to the other point. You know, the media espouses certain concepts of nutrition for stories and interest and to, to start something going. Uh, which isn't always accurate. And then uh, that's what we see also on, on, this, on the side of medicine where there are you know special interest groups and politics involved and, and, and money and, and lobbying which uh, is trying to control the, the vitamin, mineral, and nutritional supplement industry. So we, we cannot ignore that those are issues. I am concerned with evidence and the evidence is, is, is there. Also on our blog and our website, we, I actually have health issues 
per medical specialty, and I even give a count of how many studies to, to the, the date I wrote that article, let's say, supported the use of nutrition in cancer and nutrition in hormone issues and nutrition in mental issues, and it's uh, in the hundreds to thousands of studies. So we're not just talking two studies here and two studies there. So uh, obviously these emails are reflecting confusion. Uh, where people are hearing one thing, which brings us uh, to this other point. I think uh, you mentioned that what do we do when the, the traditional doctor says, you know, to one of our patients who finally make it to us, you know, this, there's nothing to this nutrition, and then the people that uh, are, are recommending it are quacks, and this is completely uh, not scientific and, and, in fact, is harmful. Sometimes I just do not know how to answer that question. I'm a bit dumbfounded, but then I'm reminded of that old saying that ignorance is bliss, and I don't think any other statement in life could be any truer because it really is a matter of that. Although there may be another word for uh, not knowing something and not caring enough to actually do your due diligence to really see if your opinion is valid, that's not, uh, there's, so what's the word I'm looking for? Because that's not ignorance, that's just denial or laziness or, or bias, I don't know. So rather than, I, I encourage my patients to uh, put their frustrations aside like I have uh, and just to deal with what we're believing in now, which means we know that the body needs to heal, we know that foods don't have the nutrition anymore, and nutritional supplements are put together, those that are put together by reputable companies and based on science do have a place. And again, either the National Library of Medicine or what's called the Cochrane Database has all of these scientific studies there. Now I should mention, and I find this very unusual, Cassie, is the FDA is trying to prevent uh, nutritional supplement manufacturers from actually using the links from scientific studies that showed, for example, that vitamin D helps reduce all-cause morbidity mortality, or that activated folic acid helps reduce heart disease and can help depression and can help an inflammatory bowel disease. So we can't use these links. I mean, we can currently, but this is something that's in the works. Why would that be unless the powers that be did not want this information to be readily available to thinking people who are continually educating themselves? So that would prevent us from putting these links, so we'd have to sort of say, well, here's the site, and now you need to search this to get the link, which is, of course, multiple steps more difficult to do. So um, when I think of all this stuff together, I realize that the average physician who is well-meaning, we have to realize, has no, virtually no nutrition education in school. I think it is an average of about 23 or 25 hours over the course of the entire medical school education in nutrition which I read an editorial once about this which said that means that the average person who watches television probably knows more nutrition than their physicians. So if your doctor, and we'll end it with this, if your doctor says this is a waste of time, you can potentially hurt yourself, you want to say, doctor, oh, I can appreciate that statement, why do you say that? If they say something like, well, that's my opinion, or they get annoyed at you asking, it's time to maybe consider seeing another doctor. Because, of course, we all want open-minded doctors that are educated, that give qualified opinions. Why would we care what a practitioner says, no matter how prominent they are in their field? I don't care if they're the best oncologist in the plan or the best gastroenterologist or endocrinologist or internist. If you're not training in nutrition, you need to uh, be you know, forthright with that with a patient and say, well, I don't have any uh, you know, formalized training, but this is what I believe. So I always have the patient, you know, if they care enough to ask, you know, what is your training, doctor? What, how do you get that opinion? If they say, well, I took a four-hour course with Dr. You know, XYZ at this university over the weekend, that's usually what I'm finding is the issue. And if, if, if it's sponsored you know, by the AMA at a time when they're not particularly friendly to the vitamin concept, mineral concept, or supplements, then that's the opinion. So uh, it is very complicated, uh, but um, we encourage our patients to ask us and challenge us, well, what do you mean intravenous vitamin C kills cancer cells? What are you talking about? Well, we can at least provide them with the literature. And then the last thing I suppose I should mention is sometimes we will provide evidence to doctors on behalf of you know patients' requests, and then the doctors say, nope, still don't believe it. I suspect that's just ignoring of the facts. Well, I know it is because it's clear that there's evidence for this. It's just that these are these doctors are not comfortable uh, dealing with what they don't know. And you know something? I'm not sure we want our doctors to be, you know, giving us advice about nutrition if they're uncomfortable with it. But I think they should fess up to that. 
So again, lots of content on the website about vitamins and minerals, uh, particularly in uh, there's an article I wrote, Foods versus Nutritional Supplements, and uh, the proof is in the research. That's the article on our website that discusses this topic more. It predicts almost exactly what your doctors will say when you ask them this and what you should say. Because okay. we've heard it so many Absolutely. times, we've just <laughs> written it down. So complicated issue, but really, really important. More and more people want nutrition. We need to seek out doctors who know what they're talking about and ignore the others. That's what there is to say on this topic. Okay. Yeah, good.